I ran a poll to see if people preferred toggle or hold to ADS, which is aim down sights, and the results really took me by surprise. A massive 80% of the 1600 voters said they preferred hold to ADS. I've been using toggle for years and had assumed it was the default choice for anyone looking to improve their aim. Another interesting result was that the majority of comments on the poll were from toggle to ADS players, despite them making up only 20% of the votes. While the sample size isn't enormous, it seems plausible that many voters play on the default setting of hold and perhaps haven't tried toggle. Those who have made the switch likely experienced the same benefits that I have and felt inclined to comment as they have a more defined preference. So what's the difference and should you make the switch? Hold is always the default option in games as it's highly intuitive. If you want to be looking down your sights, you have mouse to held down. If you want to go back to hipfire, you just let go. Simple. The problem is that any time your mouse tool is held down, your mouse grip is being compromised. That extra tension in one specific area of your mouse throws off your balance and can negatively affect your aim. It also creates this divide between your hipfire and ADS. Your aim feels different between them because your grip has to change. If you're on your computer right now, you can try moving your mouse around with mouse tool held down and not held down. See if you can feel the difference in how accurate you are in clicking on subscribe and join. This further boils down to the idea that even if your mouse tool was unbound and did nothing when you clicked, would you still choose to hold it down when aiming? For the majority of people, the answer is going to be no, and this is where toggle comes in. Toggle allows us to enter ADS with one click, so we can then aim without that awkward tension that comes with holding down mouse tool. Your hipfire and ADS aim get to use the same mouse grip so there's no sudden shift in how your aim feels. Bottom line, this is what makes toggle the best choice for optimizing your aim. That being said, it has a nasty learning curve and some downsides that certainly need to be considered. Toggle's biggest problem is how damaging accidental inputs can be. If you accidentally click during a fight when you didn't mean to, it can really screw you over. This tends to happen more with a mouse too that has a low actuation force, where only a little pressure is needed to click. Certain mouse shapes like those with a low profile that cause your fingers to rest more heavily on 1 and 2, and some aiming movements like tracking and flicking to the right can cause an accidental input. If this is happening regularly and you can't seem to comfortably find a way to stop it, then using hold to ADS may still be a net gain for your aim. Learning to use toggle is an awkward experience, but so long as you give it a few hours or even a few days, it will start to feel natural. If you are worried about the responsiveness and quickly swapping between hipfire and ADS, it stops becoming a problem with more experience. Once you're used to toggle, there's no tangible difference in speed when compared to hold, it's simply just more difficult to execute. So for the 80% of you out there using hold, I challenge you to try toggle for at least a day. If you can get through the learning curve, you may very well unlock some aim gains you didn't know were there. And if it doesn't work for you, no stress, keep on using hold. There are plenty of incredible players that use that setting, it's not some deal breaker. While you're trying out toggle, why not make a day of it and try out this new flick shot technique as well, which you can learn all about in this video here. Thanks so much for watching, be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.